Hey guys, welcome back to Mischief Maker TV. Now, on the last episode, I left you hanging just a little bit. Told you that we were traveling somewhere, couldn't tell you why, because it's a little bit of a surprise, but since we're here, we're in Pennsylvania. arrived here in Pennsylvania very early Tuesday morning. We actually drove all the way through from Oklahoma to here, only stopping for gas so that we could get here and enjoy time with friends and family. Now, what has been going on Tuesday, Wednesday? Not a lot. I'll tell you why. Completely through my hip and my back out. So I have literally been laying on the floor, getting some work done and honestly just taking it easy until something clicked or cracked back into place, which it did today. So now I'm finally outside. The Jeep is here. The truck is here. And today we're going to be just cleaning this bad boy out from the weekend shenanigans. And I'm going to tell you exactly what has happened to him. So what actually happened when we got back to Pennsylvania is that it was kind of drizzle raining all day and um, I went into the house and passed out and woke up about three hours later and then came out and covered the Jeep. So it smells a little funky in here. There were a couple of t-shirts and stuff. Um, it just so happens most of my stuff is now in beautiful dry bags. Um, got these from Amazon they're like a dollar I think so I have three of these which I'm definitely gonna wash that one off and um, what I'm gonna do now is honestly just kind of lightly spray the inside of the Jeep the plugs are all out and I'm just gonna give it a little hose off All right, I just jumped in for two seconds, had something to drink. My shirt is disgusting, but um, it's probably because it's a little toasty here, but it is not 109 degrees, so I will freaking take it. So now that Mischief Maker is all kind of just quickly spruced off, well, let me tell you exactly what happened to him over the past weekend. All right, let me tell you a story about this past weekend. But before we start, instead of looking all crazy with this disgusting thing, let's change. Much better. Wow, that feels better. <laughs> you guys know that we have traveled all across the country to some of the best parks available to us out there for off-roading. And, um, we ended up at Rugged Mountain Ranch in Clayton, Oklahoma. Let me tell you something. It is the gnarliest, nastiest, hardest park I have ever been to. And you're gonna hear exactly how hard it was. So I've been pretty lucky with Mischief Maker in this build um, because it has been pretty solid, but it was having some issues over the last weekend. It started off with a U-joint in the drive shaft. So that was okay. We actually um, quickly switched that out the night before and got into the Jeep to drive it just to make sure everything felt great and the axle started moving pretty substantially. 
So we checked everything out and it was the bushings. The bushings were pretty much shot. So we were at Rugged Mountain Ranch. Now that is located exactly 55 minutes away from the nearest anything. So last minute, uh, Walter was phoning around AutoZone, O'Reilly's to see if they could get the bushings in. Good news, they could get the bushings in, but not until 9.30 the next morning. Now our group that was going out that weekend, they were actually supposed to be leaving at 9 a.m. So it means that I would just have to catch up with them, which honestly, I really didn't mind as long as I got to go and wheel with them. The next morning comes around, I go out with a friend, we're on the trails, we head on back to Mischief Maker, who's just sat there all kind of lonely. And Walter arrived with the bushings and a press and we just popped them in. Let me show you exactly what I am talking about. So these were the bushings right here, right there, and right there. All right, so they're in, we head off on the trail. About seven hours later, I am crawling up, oh, just a little vertical rock, and I can't turn the wheel at all. That's right. My um, hydro assist breaks at the clamp. Let me show you that right now. Right, so you can see exactly what happened right here. Check this out. Boom! <sighs> Boom! Little, little crazy. We ended up taking the whole system out of the Jeep and I decided just to Popeye my way through the rest of the trail until dinner. So we get off the trail and there are a couple of people who have broken other things and we're just all trying to get our stuff sorted so we can get back out. I had the opportunity to weld that back on but decided I have the big bore kit. It's fine. It's not that difficult. It's still drivable. We can still go over rocks. I haven't lost anything too massive for me to be like, nah, I'm not gonna go on the trail. You know me, I love the trails. We came to an obstacle called the Gatekeeper. You had to drive up a vertical wall with your front driver tire and it dipped into a V-notch. So when you went up, you had to climb all the way up and then basically when you came down, you have to give it gas, give it all that you had and uh, turn driver at the same time. Well, because I have no hydro assist, that was proving a little difficult. So I gave it a go the first time, didn't get over. Gave it another go, nothing, thought fine. Third and final go, I got this. Mischief Maker and I, we're gonna get this. We climb up that wall with the driver tire. We slam down and my foot is flat on the gas. People are going, no, no, oh, stop, stop. There's sparks flying everywhere. I managed to bust, like completely bust a 1480 U-joint. Pieces just flew everywhere. Let's go take a look at that because I haven't even touched the Jeep. You can see that it's leaking something. Let's check this out. Like an old grandma, I need to sit down really slowly. All right, pretty obvious. There's some kind of leakage going on here. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Oh, wow. 
Wow, yeah. Boom. That is looking pretty serious in there, people. So pretty crazy. I had to go really hard. That's just the name of that obstacle. That was the name of the game. And I gave it my all and busted it. So what happened then is that I kind of gave up. I knew that I could go back to camp. I knew that I had another one. I could go fix it. But to be honest with you, I was just knackered, like mentally, emotionally, and physically with the heat as well. So it was just, honestly, that's the first time that's ever happened with Mischief Maker. And it happens to everyone. But now it has me like obsessed with him. Like I wanna make sure that he has everything that he needs just to really make sure that Mischief Maker is seen to before every, every, every park that we go to. Cause sometimes, like other people, uh, I won't check. I'll go from one park one weekend, I'll travel, I'll go to the other park. He's just been so solid, but you gotta look after your stuff. You gotta look after your stuff. So that was really it. Honestly, I've never experienced one break after the other. It was hard. That was a hard, hard ride. And I've never wanted to go back to a park so bad straight away. This park, seriously, if you are looking for boulders, rivers, gnarly crawls, almost flips, buggy lines, this is the place for you. If you really want to challenge yourself, this is the park to go to phenomenal and the people who run it are just amazing definitely definitely go check it out now there is a reason why i haven't put any footage out of this um i'm actually unable to do so until a couple of weeks so bear with me and you guys will see exactly what it is i'm talking about in the meantime if you guys are enjoying the channel then please remember to subscribe like leave me a comment don't forget the notification bell and kind of exciting news guys um if you head on over to www.women-wheelers.com we now have a new sticker that you can purchase and we have really awesome cool mischief maker crew socks i know you guys are all like it's the middle of the summer Oh, why would you do that? Listen, we all wear trail socks. Well, most of us definitely check them out. I have them in all sizes. Everything from wee little kitty winkles all the way up to you grown, grown men. So definitely check them out. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching the channel. I really appreciate your support, but until tomorrow, I'll see you later.